Howdy folks, it's Stone Ward McCarthy here bringing you your update for August 2019 um, in Dovercourt Village. Uh, so first off, let's look at W2. Um, as you've, If you watch the videos, you know I've mentioned W2 before. Our, our area of Dovercourt Village falls within W2 uh, as categorised by the Toronto Real Estate Board. So W2 runs from Christie Pits um, to the east of you all the way over to High Park on the west of you, uh, north of the Bloor Line. So anyways, um, on average, in August of 2019, detached homes in uh, W2, 1.169 million. Uh, that rose about 5% year over year. Uh, semis at 964 thousand, uh, that's up 6.53% year over year. Um, condo apartments, uh, $642,000 on average. Um, those were up almost 9%. So that's the strongest growth we saw was in the condo market. And then townhomes, or, or uh, townhome condos, that on average is 648,000, and they actually came down 1.4%. So uh, that's an odd one. We'll see if that's a trend that continues. My prediction is that it won't. Okay, Dovercourt Village sales. Uh, there were actually only four, uh, as opposed to Junction Triangle and Blurdale Village, where there were you know six and eight sales, only four sales in Dovercourt Village. Uh, so first off, 786 Gladstone Avenue. Um, actually, my clients actually bought this one. Uh, I feel we did well. The agent um, um, it was an out-of-area agent, so listed it without the uh, crazy bidding war strategy. Um, if it were me, I would have been listing it about 999 and then let offers come in. Uh, great property. It did need work, but it's 22.5 foot frontage by 131 in depth. Uh, detached, two and a half story, lovely well-built double garage in the back with laneway access. Um, listed at uh, 1.2 million. And uh, the date came out, went there with my clients, put in an offer that night and secured the place uh, for 1.23. Uh, millions. So that's 7086 Gladstone just south of DuPont there. Uh, here's a place that I think went right on the button, 13A Bartlett, uh, a three unit property, um, went for 1290000 It's just north of Bloor there on Bartlett, so very close to the subway. Uh, then there was a 248 Hallam Street. Um, so this initially was, uh, there was an attempt to sell this with multiple offers, but it was quite a unique property. So uh, they took it off the market and put it back on at 1.3 and just waited for uh, the right buyer because again it was a unique property you just had to give it more exposure on the market uh, in August for this to sell. So that uh, list, uh, listed at 1.299 sold for bang on the button at 1.3 million in 45 days. Okay and then finally 807 Ossington uh, listed at 899 here was a two and a half story uh, property um, with a couple of different units uh, in there, sold for 1.238. Uh, I think the sellers did very well there for that sale in August. So there you have it, folks. That's um, my take on what's uh, happened in Dovercourt Village uh, and, of course, the facts of what actually sold. Below me, uh, if you're receiving this on the webpage, uh, all these are for download, all the stats and everything and the aggregated averages of the last six months. Uh, all there for you. Reach out to us if you need anything in regards to real estate, not just buying, selling, investing. Uh, if you need a plumber, an electrician, look, we know some local trades uh, who live in the area. We're happy to pass on some numbers to you. Thanks so much. Don Ward McCarthy, Keller Williams Realty. Thank you. Bye-bye.